Hi you fam, welcome back to my corner. My name is Yemilo and welcome to my channel. It's that time of the month again. First of all, happy new month guys. It's the 1st of April and it's that time of the month where I get to show you guys my goals from the previous month and what I was able to achieve. Um, while I also, you know, write down my goals for another month. That's for a new month. So we are going to take a look at my green book. If you are new to the channel, you probably don't know what this is about. At the beginning of this year, I challenged myself or I give myself a task to break down my goals for the year. And, you know, for every month, I write down things I want to achieve for that month. And at the end of the month, I go back and see if I was actually able to achieve those things that i wrote down or those goals i want to achieve and i have started it since january and this is april so let's see if i have actually been able to do that i started this in january at the beginning of the year and we are in april i like to say i have been consistent with it um for the times where i am not able to achieve so much in any month i don't beat myself up i don't feel bad about it because i mean i'm human you know i'm not a machine so i can only do as much as um i have the capacity to you know and this is april i am pretty excited because it feels like i ticked almost everything out of the five things i wrote down to achieve in the month of march i was able to achieve for now i'm going to show you guys on the screen what i wrote down for the month of march and what i was able to achieve as you can see on the screen number one is something i wrote down for february and i wasn't able to achieve it and it's kind of personal I wasn't able to achieve it in February and I carried it over to March and as well in March I couldn't do that and I'm still carrying it on to April like I have to stay consistent with this thing I have to make sure I actually get this thing and when this thing actually happens I'll be so excited I'll feel so blessed to actually share it with you my family okay so I wasn't able to um, achieve number one I am actually carrying it uh, um, into the new month and I'm hoping this month is a lot more successful in that aspect okay fingers crossed number two goal I wrote is to buy books I have taxed myself to have healthy habits and reading happens to be something I enjoy doing as a child and I was like this is a very healthy thing to do and why not as an adult why can't i create more time to read more books and learn new things so i have gotten quite a number of books and i have actually started reading it so i'm happy this is something i was able to achieve in the month of march number three goal i wrote for march is to study and prepare for my exams i have my examination coming um very soon for the semester and i am actually reading burning the midnight candle studying as much as i can to make sure i come out with not just good grades but the best grades i'm giving myself the task to actually graduate with a 2-1 yeah so let's see how that goes i hope i'm able to do that um while i'm also studying and trying to see how i'm able to achieve my goals i'm trying as much as possible not to put so much pressure on myself i'm trying to take it one step at a time um if you don't know this i've mentioned before that i've been away from school for two to three years and me going back to school it feels like i'm starting afresh you know lots of things have changed in school and it has been quite challenging for me because like all my mates have graduated and i've been trying to blend in with my new course mates and it has not really been easy you know but i'm glad i'm doing this actually it gives me um a form of satisfaction that I'm actually pursuing my dreams, you know, and I'm happy about it. Number four thing I wrote down for March was to start saving up for a getaway. And I'm glad that I've actually started doing it. I don't know where the getaway destination is going to be anyways, but I am saving towards it and I don't know when it's going to happen. But let's see how that goes. But definitely if, if I finally go on that getaway, you know you are going to see everything 
you are going to see the tea so i have started saving for it gets away and i'm excited about this one because guys i need to give me a treat because i deserve it i've been working so hard lately and i feel like it's only fair that i actually treat myself to a very nice cozy getaway you know mommy needs some love and mommy deserves to get some okay number five thing i wrote down for the month of march that i was actually able to achieve was to read a book like one book at least each week and guys in this month of march i have been able to read six books instead of four books which is supposed to be like a new book each week i have been able to read six books and i'm even out of books right now and i have to like get more books to read so i'm happy about it and you know i've been able to achieve all these goals in this month like it's just four weeks in a month and see how much i've been able to achieve if you are actually thinking about how to achieve your goals i would advise that you break down your goals as you know as little as possible try to see what you can fit in in a month try to see what you can fit in in six months try to see what you can fit in in every quarter of the year and try to see what you can fit in in the entire year there is no need for you know you to start feeling bad when the year comes to an end and you're feeling like you you couldn't do anything at all or you couldn't achieve anything at all like there's no need feeling bad about anything just start by giving yourself like little tasks to do start by setting little goals like there's no goal that is little actually because it is each goal desires effort each goal desires time each goal desires commitment so there's no need for you feeling bad about you not being able to achieve any kind of goal thank you for watching and i hope this inspires someone today to start doing the same i'll see you on the next episode until then